okay in this tutorial we are going to discuss something about resources what are the different different resources what is the significance of the resource folder in the Android okay can you see this folder over here resource folder so I am inside so I, I, I have traversed like this source inside source there is a main inside main there is the resource and you can find something this this thing not manifest not manifest manifest is not covered over there this much things are there right what are they exactly what things are this Android is having multiple resources drawable is there anim is there raw is there animator is there multiple resources are there layout is there map map is there values is there menus is there many resources are there so resources are or, or you can say excluding the source everything is resource for the Android if you are going to exclude the source everything is resource okay so every resource is having significance every resource is having some significance right every resource is having some significance okay now drawable is going to be used what I'm saying drawable is going to be used for keeping your images we are going to use drawable for keeping the images layout would be having the layout files right layout would be having layout files right so into the layout you can define your project or your activity layout it is not like the what you can say if you have programmed in the swing edit or you can say j label is equals to new j label then you would be creating right j text field t is equals to new j text field instead of that they have given some xml structuring so go on writing your some code over here and accordingly that it would be generating that objects in the background internally right that object will be getting generated internally by some XML parsers right okay then map map your icons your application icons would be the part of IC underscore launcher this uh, sorry map map now what is this HDPI MDPI XHDPI double XHDPI and triple XHDPI that we'll see at the time of localization or handling the runtime changes what are these things these are the configuration qualifiers Android is pretty smart as per your phone configuration it can select or pick particular folder means your whatsapp icon right on the phone looks this much and on the tablet it looks this much how that how whatsapp one application is there there is no separate application for a tablet and no separate application for phone one application is having multiple configuration one application is having resources with different different configurations means particular folder is going to get selected for particular configuration that's about this right configurations okay then values are the simple value resources we have the separate session on this how to work with the simple value resources colors diamonds strings arrays right plurals all that things can be kept under this again there is a configuration related to this 820 dp like this width 820 dp if you are working on the tablet kindly select this values folder meaning that if you are working on the medium density right please select this map map folder okay that's one thing about the configuration we are going I'm going to come back to this thing later in the later part of the series this series so you'd be getting detailed kind of thing over there okay now if you can check this set content view over here you have something called as R now what is this right I'll show you something see carefully I am going inside build I am going inside outputs sorry not inside this generated 
then go to the source go to the R go to the debug go to your package name com code cool weekend app and select the folder this and select the folder and if you can see the comment auto generated file do not modify this class was automatically generated by the apt tool this class was automatically generated by the app tool from the resource data it found it shouldn't be modified by hand clearly they have given one message it has been generated by the apt tool which tool apt tool now there is full form apt Android asset packaging tool Android asset packaging tool means there is one tool right what I'm saying if this is your resource folder if I can say that if this is your resource folder right if this is your resource folder and this resource folder is having multiple things like drawable layout map map blah 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 whatever it is 8 to 12 type of the resources are there and this is your apt tool so this app tool is continuously observe your resource folder this apt tool is continuously observing your apt uh, your resource folder this app tool is continuously observing your resource folder and from that resource data it is generating one file called as r.java right it is generating one file called as r.java r might be standing for the resource right it is generating one class r.java okay now here is the deal if you can go to the resource and the layout right every single what I'm saying every single subfolder of the resource folder every single subfolder of the resource folder is public static final class every single subfolder of the resource folder is public static final means layout should be one class called as public static final layout I'll show you just control F over here I'm finding and say class layout can you see this thing and this class layout would be having your what you can say activity underscore main your activity underscore main and this means file inside the layout folder or file inside the resource folder file inside the subfolder of the resource folder would be treated as what constant field inside that inner class right okay now let's have the live demo in the drawable what I can do is that right so in the drawable what I can do is that do I have any PNG okay see I'm getting this say let me make it small resource name should start from the small copy this and I am pasting inside the drawable now what should be the stand taken by the app tool so app tool is going to generate one folder called as public static final drawable and into that folder it would be generating one field called as public static int teacher right this teacher and is equals to some hexadecimal value it is going to assign right let us see this thing control F I'm finding once again and say class drawable can you see there is the class drawable and unfortunately there is nothing clean the project build and just clean the project and here you will find teacher is one field inside your what you can say can you see this thing it has generated automatically now if you want to access that field over here right if you want to access that field over here int right IMG is equal sorry 
int img is equals to r dot drawable dot teacher and this thing will refer to your actual file inside drawable folder so if you are a good java developer by looking at this line you will get to know that thing yes r is one file outer file and drawable is the inner class which is a public static final right and teacher is the field inside drawable class if you can look at this similarly r dot layout dot main r is the outer class layout is the inner folder folder is represented by the class and activity underscore main is the file inside that folder so you can access so underlying things are handled by the Android system you don't need to worry about that this is how you will map your Java source right this is how you will map your Java source and the resources by using the R file so absolutely R is a bridge between your resources and the classes is the bridge between resources and the classes so R is that bridge well this is all about resources in the next tutorial I'm going to cover what do you exactly mean by this code I'm going to make some code tomorrow I'm going to have some screens login screens I'm going to provide some click listeners right so more interesting stuff is yet to come this is just the beginning so keep watching and like or subscribe us on the Code Cool channel. Thanks a lot.